those bad land. He's such a show off. I'm not trying to show off, I promise. It's just that when I'm skating, I am stoked. Hi everyone, welcome to the Reading Den with Shen, and I am Shen. Today, I'm going to read with you and your family a very exciting book called Vlad the Rad by Bridget Barriger. Please give me a like, subscribe, and share. This helps YouTube let other people know about my video, and they all can be part of the Reading Den with Shen's family. Hi, I'm Vlad. I'm a vampire. Here are some things I like. Cats, bats, bendy straws, glow-in-the-dark stickers, and bugs. Rocks are nice, too. But you know what I love more than anything else? I love to skateboard. This is where I learned to be a scary, spooky vampire. I can find lots of things to skate on, in, around, and through at spook school. It's a pretty good skate spot, I guess. Except, skateboard is not exactly allowed. It's not exactly unallowed, but Miss Fussbucket sure doesn't like it. Skateboarding is a big waste of time, says Miss Fussbucket. You need to work on your spookiness. Why can't you be more like your classmates and eerily float to class or ooze down the hallway quietly? But I have to skate. When I'm skateboarding, it's like my heart has bat wings and my feet have wheels. I feel like sugar-frosted lightning bolts. Vlad, this is your first warning, says Miss Fussbucket. Learning to be spooky is fine, but it just doesn't make me super happy the way landing a trick does. Vlad, this is your warning number two, says Miss Fussbucket. It's hard for me to concentrate on scaring lessons when my brain keeps coming up with ideas about stuff I could jump over or through or tricks I could combine with others to make up new, gnarlier tricks. Even when I mess up, fall down, and munch it, I just get back up and try again. Skating is not about being perfect. You'll crack your head open and your brains will leak out says Miss Fussbucket. Then how will you learn? I do get in trouble a lot. And the worst thing is that I hear my classmates whispering, there goes bad land. He's such a show off. I'm not trying to show off, I promise. It's just that when I'm skating, I am stoked. And stoked is the best way to be. That's it, detention screeches Miss Fussbucket. Then it happened. Now, Vlad, I don't want to see you skateboarding at school anymore. If I catch you doing it again, lectured Miss Fussbucket, and I had a feeling she really meant it. I don't know why being spooky and skateboarding can't go together, just because Miss F doesn't think so. If there are both things I could do, maybe I could do them at the same time. When we took a field trip to the Natural History Museum to look at old bones, I was trying to be on my best behavior. I really, really, really was. Until I saw something that gave me a frightful idea. Oh no, says Miss Fussbucket squeal from way down below. Don't you dare. Clink, clank, clunk, clunk. Clinky, clanky, clunk, clunk. Those dinosaur bones made a terrifying sound as I skateboarded down the back. It was awesome. When I got to the end of the tail, I hissed and screeched and ollied right over a pterodactyl. A ghost, a specter, a terrible monster, screamed all the people and they ran away. Then I super slammed into the woolly mammoth. Vlad, said Miss Fussbucket, you are radically terrifying. 
Vlad the Red, Vlad the Red, cheered my classmates. And that's how I almost stuck my biggest trick yet and became Vlad the Red. The end. Let me know in a comment what you thought of the book. And if you have a suggestion for a picture book you'd like me to read, let me know. I'd like to give a super shout out today to Sarah from the UK. Wow. Thanks for hanging out at the Reading Den with Shen. I'll see you all soon again. Bye, everybody.